a packed room of people is, who want is answers. There's a lot of challenges to be able to get this debris out in a timely fashion. Many of them are survivors of the campfire um, and want to separate website. fact from um, fiction. We've heard so many different things. I've read so much online. I met Sheila LeBlanc at the meeting. She escaped from a paradise home with her cat and fiance. I tell you, it was the most harrowing experience that I'd ever gone through, driving through the walls of flame on either side of the road. She told me she's not allowed to go back to her home, but she knows it's so gone. Things that, you know, we gathered throughout our life that meant a lot. She has a lot of questions like what her responsibilities are as a homeowner when it's time to go back. Okay, this is this was a mobile home, uh, 12 by 60. It's what another survivor I met wants to know too. And just figure out how, how who's going to do the cleanup. Do I have to do it or is FEMA going to get involved? So I want to hear about all that. From many I spoke with, the frustrations in this room span from lack of housing to when they're allowed to go back. We do understand that mm -hmm. They can't give you a specific date because there's a lot of variables that they're dealing with, um, but we'd still want to get what information we could. As Some we say do. they're simply we'll surviving and information is helping them breathe. Well, it's so surreal, you know, the situation is, it, it's kind of hard every, to wrap your head around. In Oroville and on Rochita, ABC 10 News.